Hello everyone, you are welcome to this class. So in this class, we want to look at quadratic equations whose rules are what given. So we want to look at questions on that. Now the first question we have here uh, asks us to find the sum of roots of the x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. Now there are so many methods you can use to solve this. As we've explained in the uh, video lectures before, uh, the equation of uh, quadratic equation of a line is given to be x squared uh, minus product uh, sum of root that is alpha plus beta right and then x outside plus uh, product of that is alpha plus of beta equals what is zero now looking at what we have there here which is x squared plus 8x right and uh, plus 15 equals to zero so we can confidently say that 15 here yeah, is a product of the root because it's alpha is directly under what alpha plus beta and we have plus here all right all right so uh that means alpha plus beta is a fifth after multiplied by beta is 15. But when you come to this place, uh, this one here, so we can say that alpha plus beta, which is the sum of the root, don't forget it's supposed to be a minus. This minus here, right? You put a minus and have x here and equals what 8x. Right. So what we want to get is this this x is this x, right? And this alpha plus beta is this x and goes with the minus so that means we want to get alpha plus beta here so what we're going to do is alpha plus beta <coughs> sorry excuse me for that into uh, minus x so let's divide both sides by minus x so divide by minus x by what minus x so this minus we cancel this x so we have alpha plus beta which is the sum of the roots and then x cancel x that gives us a minus what eight so it means that the sum of the roots which we are looking for is minus eight i hope this is very clear another way of doing it uh, uh, let's say for instance you are in exam or that you you did not remember the formula so what are you going to do what are you supposed to do to find the sum of the root so since you know how to factorize you have x squared, right, plus 8x uh, plus 15 equals to 0. You can factorize this. Uh, you can solve the equation, quadratic equation, by looking for the value of x. And you're going to have two values. So that will be the root. <coughs> so in that case, this will give us x squared. And uh, what we have there, this is a constant, because uh, the power here is, uh, the coefficient of x squared is 1. So we consider this. So, and what we have there is plus 8x. So, we can make use of 3x plus 5x to replace uh, the 8x here. So, and then that means we are looking for the product of two numbers that we add together. That will multiply that will be 15. And when you sub, uh, add 10, you're going to get 8. And 3x times 5x will be 15x squared, right? And if you had 3x plus 5x, it gives us what 8x plus 15 equal to 0. So from here, you can then solve for that. So you combine these two. So what is common is x. You open the bracket. That is x plus 3. Am I making sense? <coughs> Excuse me. And what is common here is uh, 5. Then x plus what, 3 equal to 0. So from here, you have x plus 3 then x plus 5 equals to 0. So that means that x plus 3 equals to 0 or x plus 5 equals to 0. So which means x equals to minus 3 or x equals to minus 5. So these are the roots. So the roots of this equation is minus 3 and minus 5. So the question has to find, find the sum of the roots. Sum of the roots means we add the roots together. So that means minus 3 plus minus 5. That gives us minus what? Minus what? 
8. So you can see that we got the same answer from what we have here, which is minus 8. Therefore, the product of the root, that's, question, that's the answer I gave you, then the option B. That is for, for question number 1. For question number 2, you have to find the product of the root. So in finding the product of the root here, so you want to find the product of the root. So that means, since we have known the, pro, the root, so the product of the root is that 15. And if you want to confirm that, is the 15 which I've explained here. So which is 15, alpha multiplied by beta, right? So since we have used the other method to find it, so that means minus 3 times minus 5. So that means minus times minus is plus, 3 times 5 is what 15, you can see it's still the same thing. So that is option A for question number 2. I believe uh, this is getting clear. So we go to question number 3 now. For question number 3. So we have a uh, final quadratic equation whose roots are minus 4 and minus 3. So I also teach you two methods here on how to solve this. So in case you forget one, you should be able to remember one. So our formula, our normal uh, formula is s squared minus into bracket alpha plus what beta right x then plus alpha beta right so uh, what we're going to do is this so let's find alpha beta first alpha beta from the given root we we have is minus four plus minus three and that gives us minus four minus three that gives us minus seven then alpha beta we then go minus 4 times minus 3. And that's going to give us 12. So let's now put this value into this equation. That's going to be x squared minus into bracket. Then the alpha plus beta is minus 7. x outside plus alpha beta is 12 equals to what? 0. Right? So this is going to give us x squared minus times minus is sort of plus 7x plus 12 equals to what zero so that is how to solve that and that gives question number uh the option s squared plus 7x uh plus 12 that's option b right good then um so another method of doing it is this if you recall so when you are solving uh we give you the root to be minus four and then minus three so we want to introduce x you know uh, that means we are saying x equals to minus 4 or x equals to minus 3. Now we want to make this equation to be equal to 0, this equation to be equal to 0. So this then give us x plus 4 equals to 0 and it was x plus 3 equal to 0. So, uh, so the first thing you need to do is to multiply the two together. That is x plus 4 right multiply by what x plus 3 so to form equals to what 0 mm -hmm. so this multiplied by this equals to what 0 <laughs> let's now open this bracket let's expand it so x times x give us x squared uh, plus 3x right plus 4x that is 4 times x 10 plus 12 equal to 0. So that means x squared 3x plus 4x give us a plus 7x plus 12 equals to 1 0. You can see that we still got the same thing that we have here. So that is alternative method of drainage. If you can recall the process or uh, the formula given to you there. So move to the next question. Question number 4 now. So question number 4 uh, okay Question number four. Okay, now. So the same thing here. Find the quadratic equation whose roots are this and this. Uh, so the same thing we make use of x squared, right? Minus alpha plus beta x then plus alpha beta equal to zero. So let's find alpha plus beta. So the roots are 2 over 5 plus uh, this will be then be equal to 3 minus 3 minus 3 all over 2. So let's find this first. So this is going to be 2 over 5 minus 3 over 2. 
let's find the OCM so which is 10 and then this is going to be 4 minus so here that is 5 that is going to be 15 so this is going to give us minus 11 all over 10 so that is the sum of the root so product of the root which is alpha beta be 2 over 5 multiply by minus 3 over 2 2 cancel 2 so this will be minus 3 all over 5 so let's now put the values into this uh, into the formula so we have the formula which is uh, s squared uh, minus alpha plus beta x then plus alpha beta equal to zero so this uh, will then be x squared minus alpha plus beta is minus 11 all over 10 x right and then plus alpha beta which is minus what 2 all over what 3 all over 5 sorry for that 3 over 5 equals to what 0 so let's now solve for that now so what we're going to have now so let's open the brackets so this is going to be x squared plus 11 x over 10 right plus x minus with minus 3 all over 5 equal to 0. So, let's make it over 1 and solve it. So, find the LCM. The LCM is 10. So, this is going to be 10 x squared, right? Plus 10 in 10, 1, 1, that will be 11 x minus 5 in, <coughs> in 10 is 2, <coughs> 2 times 3, that is 6, equal to 0. When you cross multiply, you're going to have 10 x squared plus 11 x minus 6 equal to what? 0. So that is the answer. So is it there? 10 x squared plus 11 x minus 6. That is option D. That is option D. How is very clear? <clears throat> this option D. So and if you use the alternative method, you see going to get the same thing. You're going to get the same thing. You can try it out on your own. So we we'll move to question number five, the last question here. If alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation, 2x squared minus 8x plus 6 equal to 0, find the value of 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta, everything works squared. So the first thing uh, to do here is to find the roots. Let's find the alpha and let's find the beta and put the value in there. So in this case, we have so many methods we can use. Well, let's factorize this 2x squared uh, minus 8x plus is plus 6 equals to 0. So, what we're going to do, let's multiply this by this, and that gives us 12x squared. So, what are the two numbers to multiply together that will give us 12? That is 6 times 2, right? And then uh, what we have there is minus 8. So, which we can put minus here, minus here. We see get plus 12 x squared. So in that case, we replace the video number with minus 6 x and minus 2 x. <coughs> That's going to give us 2 x squared minus 6 x minus 2 x plus 6 equals to 0. So this, so let's factorize. So this is going to be 2 x is common into brackets x minus what 3 minus. Uh, 2 is common, x minus times plus give minus 3 equals to what? 0. So therefore, we're going to have x minus 3 into bracket of 2x minus 2 equal to 0. So that means x minus 3 equal to 0 or 2x minus 2 equal to what? 0. So therefore, x is equal to 3 here and then or 2x equals to 2 divided by 2. By 2. So that means s is equal to what? 1. So the roots of the equation <coughs> are what? 3 and 1. So which means alpha is 3, then beta is 1. So I want you to get the same answer. So let's now put in the value. So what we are asked to find is 1 all over alpha plus 1 all over what? Beta. Everything was squared. So 1 all over alpha, that's 1 over 3, plus 1 over beta is 1 all over 1, everything was squared. 
So this will give us 1 over 3 plus 1, right? Plus 1, everything squared. So, and this gives us uh, 1 whole number, 1 all over 3 squared. So which means uh, before all over what, 3, 4 all over 3 squared. So square root of 4 is 16, square root of 3 is what, 9. So 9 and uh, 16 is 1. Right, and nine uh, that is the remainder seven all over what nine, and the answer gives us one whole number seven over nine that is option B. How uh, this is very clear to every one of you. So, this is where we're going to stop in this video. If you find this video useful and helpful, don't forget to give us a very big thumb up and I make sure you subscribe here in your subscriber. So, we'll meet in the next video. Bye for now.